when someone first hears about this, the first thing everybody thinks about, okay, you're gonna die. To just give up or to say, I'm gonna die, to me is just a waste of time. I feel there's a lot more to life, there's a lot more to give. My name is Lee Tobel. I'm 63 years old. I was diagnosed with kidney cancer in 2013. If this tumor had been round, it would have been the size of a basketball. I was referred to UT Southwestern, and at that point, Dr. Raj was able to do the surgery, and I was cancer-free for several years. I was just fortunate to get into the right hands. 2015, came back with a vengeance, and I had to retire. Then it was stage four advanced. I wasn't ready to go anywhere, but I may not have had a choice. I'm often humbled by the patients that I encounter. His tumor, when we analyzed it, was BAP1 deficient. That is associated with the more aggressive tumors. About a decade or so ago, my laboratory embarked on a genetic study. We sought to find genes that might be able to distinguish these tumors that are aggressive from the tumors that are not aggressive. What Dr. B does is fantastic. His research, his devotion to finding these cures, to finding extensions to life. What we did was generate mice in which we introduce uh, this mutation of BAP1, and we compare these mice to mice that had a mutation in another gene that is called polybromo-1 that is associated with more indolent cancer behavior. And indeed, the, the mice that had the mutation in BAP1 developed very aggressive kidney cancer that could be detected in a few months, whereas the mice that had the mutations in the polybromo-1 gene developed cancer until after almost a year. When Dr. Kapoor, who is the pathologist that we work with, looked at the tumors, she found that the tumors in the mice look very similar to the tumors in the patients, and the characteristics of aggressiveness could be seen there as well. So in the future, I envision a situation where patients would come in with a BAP1 deficient cancer and they would be offered a treatment that targets specifically that BAP1 deficient pathway. A big thing with Dr. B is he's concerned about quality of life for all of his patients. If he wants to know how I was doing personally. He's done well, but we are very limited in terms of what we can offer. And presently he's on this fifth line uh, of therapy at unconventionally high doses. It's unclear how long it will be able to control the cancer for and Having been through the first surgery, I was asked if I would be willing to sign over the DNA for the tumor for research. And my first thought was, if it helps even one person, it's worth it. He wants for us to learn as much as we can from his case, so that future generations of patients with kidney cancer may not have to suffer what he has suffered. I've been very fortunate to be around this long there's not always a promise of tomorrow, but you strive for it and it may come.